Okay, let's see which family is ready. Remember the purple family got their award last week? Did all of you drink water? You all drank water. Okay. Oh, purple family again. I'm going to give you a group point. Last week, you folks won the most group points. Purple table. You may quietly stand up and go and sit on the polka dot. Green table. You may quietly stand up. Good job. Much better green table. Yellow table. Mm -hmm. yeah. Orange table. Oh, again? I think you're okay. It's okay. It happened you fell down again. What were you doing? You're just playing. Isn't that the same cut as the last time? Oh. <laughs> Mat matching. So let's... Uh, Red table, is it okay? Yeah, just don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It looks like it's okay. Yeah, don't touch it. Otherwise, you're gonna irritate it. Panapa, you can do that later. Panapa. Did you folks have fun at recess? Yeah. yeah. Always have fun at recess. We played choo choo train. Choo choo train. Panapa, can you do that later, please? Come to the floor. Dol um, Kaivai dolphins, dolphins, dolphins. Yes. Love, love, love. Okay, so show me that you're ready for today's lesson. Let's um, focus on our learning targets because the learning target is going to tell us about what we're learning today. So eyes up here. Hmm. Remember that what we said this morning, the more we read, the better, the better we get. So let's see if you can read the learning targets for me today. I know some of the words are hard. But what is a good reader strategy? What is a good reading strategy if you don't know the word? Sound it out. You could sound it out. Look at the picture. That would be a good one if we had a book, right, Ka? But we don't have a book here. Okay. So we could sound it out. We can also sometimes even skip the word and go on to the next word and see if you can understand what's going on. But I'm here to help you, so let's focus up here. And I want to let's see if you did all of you brush your teeth this morning. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can read the personal standard to me. Okay, so we need everybody's help because some of the words are hard, but I know you can do it. So eyes up here. It, wow! Wow! Let's um, let's um, give you folks a cheer. What cheer should we do? Let's see, Alicia. We want to choose a cheer. Watch me, Nene. Watch me, Nene. Okay. I need help with that one. Vasa, can you help me with that one? Okay. Eyes on Vasa. Ready, Vasa. Okay, so let's follow, um, follow Vasa. Okay, ready, go. Watch me, Watch me, Nene. <laughs> Thank you, Vasa. Uh, Miss Oshita's too old for that one. You folks have to teach me that one. Okay, learning target number two. Ready? Eyes up here. I like how everybody's looking. I can describe. Describe. Wow! This is why. Why? Important. Important. 
Same word as up here. Make a connection. What is this word? Essential. Essential. No, not question. This does this word look like this word? No. Starts with vocabulary. Complete. Sentences. When. Sharing. Our. Science. Unit. On measurement. Good job. Let's give ourselves a. Wow. Cheer. Ready? <laughs> Good job. Okay, so our first learning target says, I can name the three personal standards and give an example of each. And you know that we, our class, created our own three personal standards song. So let's quietly stand up. I found the background music for this song so i'll just play the beginning and then we can get started and read and sing our three personal standards song oh, we're not okay yep yeah, we're gonna do we can do the actions okay ready so let's just listen first okay our three personal standards, our three personal standards. Can you or I or anyone know our three personal standards? First, what is first? First, the student makes a decision, stands direct and takes his ease. He stops his foot and turns around and turns around and shakes hands. Come, James, come over here since you don't have a part. Next one, what is the next one? Next, the student solves his problems, stands erect and gives his um, partner an eye message. He stomps his foot and claps his hand and turns around and shakes hands. Next one. Next, the student shows respect. What does he do when he shows respect? Stands erect and shares his things. He stomps his foot and claps his hands and turns around to shake hands. Looking for a friend, looking for a friend. He finds a friend and gives a hug and turns around to shake hands. Eyes up here. Our three personal standards, our three personal standards. Can you or I or anyone know our three personal standards? So, so our guess what? I made some new literacy awards. For those of you who are making good decisions, solving problems, and showing respect. Literacy Awards. The first Literacy Award is you get to go home and in complete sentences, just like one of our learning targets, you get to tell mom and dad what these tools are. So today we're going to be learning about them. So make sure all of you are listening and you're going to go home and you're going to tell mom and dad what these um, tools are. The next one, you're going to look at the thermometer and you're going to tell me what's the temperature. So write the temperature in the square. Okay. So I'm looking for somebody who's going to get a literacy award. The next one is, it says we're going to record the weather for one week. So on Sunday, you're going to tell me if it's sunny, rainy, cloudy, windy, stormy. On Tuesday, and so for the whole week, eyes up here, you're going to tell me what the weather is. And then we're going to look at it, and we're going to see, Javier, if there's a pattern. And then the last one, it says, circle all the weather words. 
So Chidi, I want you to listen really carefully. There's a lot of weather words. And I like the way you are sitting, you're paying attention, and you are focusing. Is banana, is that a weather word? No. So would we cross, would we circle that? No, we didn't no. cross it. No. Okay. So those of you who are making good decisions, solving problems, and showing respect, you're going to get a literacy award. Yay, awesome. Okay. okay so today I'm going to leave the learning target over here. Oops, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So eyes up here. Today we're going to learn about measurement of weather. La uh, last week and the week before, we were learning about all different kinds of weather. We learned about all different kinds of weather. Sunny weather, we learned about the hurricane, we learned about storms. And we also learned this word. Who can recall what this word was? James? Mm, kind of close. We did talk about drought last week. What is the word, what is the weather word when it's really hot and there's no wind? Do you, can you read? Humid. Can you say it with me? Humid. This is humid. Today doesn't feel humid. I think there's a little wind. But anyways, we're going to be using different, we're going to be learning about different kinds of tools and we're going to be learning about how different scientists use these tools. Today we're going to focus on our first tool and later on I'm going to explain a little bit about our other tools but tomorrow and in the next two weeks we're going to be learning about different tools. But today this is our first tool so I'm going to quickly draw just a minute quickly draw our first tool and in our first tool I had to this part right here and if you can look over here I didn't even know this okay. this in the middle is a glass tube so right here right here I'm going to write the word glass tube glass tube so this is what it looks like I, I wanted to show you what it kind of looks like of course the glass tube is not this big but I wanted to show you what it looked like so there's a glass tube and inside the glass tube inside this tube right here is another tube so I'm going to use my straw to show you what that looks like. So there's another tube inside there. This tube, which is called the bulb, there's, this, there's a red thing on the bottom. This one is blue, but usually it's red. There's a bulb on the bottom, but inside the bulb, has a, there's a red liquid. So when it gets really hot, the liquid go will go up. Yeah. So I'm going to make believe this is the liquid. So when it gets really hot, the up. liquid will go higher and higher and higher. When it gets cold, the liquid would go down. But the liquid is contained in this bulb right here. So once again, there's a, this is, you see this glass tube? This is kind of like my glass tube. And inside that tube is another yeah. tube, which is called the bulb. And that holds the mercury. So the red liquid is called mercury. Can you say that with me? Mercury. mercury. Okay. So, so let's label that. First of all, let's write the word tools because these are all measurement tools. So there's the glass tube and on the bottom is the bulb. Okay. So when it gets really hot, like Rika said, the mercury, I'm going to put this in, watch, the mercury starts to rise. 
it starts to rise and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. So it starts, usually it starts about here, zero, but it can go lower. So if it was zero degrees, it's really cold. Where my daughter goes to school and Mrs. Carter, next week it said it's going to be here, one degrees. That's cold, cold, cold. Where we live, right now it's about 80 degrees. How do I know where to stop? Okay. On the side, this is how I know where to stop. On the side is called the scale. Can you see that? Scale. scale. So the numbers, and we look at the Fahrenheit, the numbers that start at zero, this is called the scale, all the numbers. Okay. So it starts with 10. And they count by tens. And all of us know how to count by tens. How do we count by tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Just like that, the thermometer counts by tens. Why do you think it doesn't count by ones? If we counted by ones, it would be, it would, and we had to write the number, I think it would be just too crowded. So in, in order to make it easier, they count by tens. But all of these numbers here is called the scale. Scale. Okay. So once again, this is the glass tube and the red part that has the mercury in it is called the glass bulb. The glass bulb. Okay. So, so once again, here's the glass tube. And this would be the glass bulb. And this red thing, this red thing right here, which is a liquid, is called the mercury. So the mercury, like I said, if it's really hot, then the mercury would go high. If, it, if it's not, it will go down. And later on this week, we're going to make a homemade thermometer. So I'm going to show you that, what that looks like. And when you go home, you can um, make one too. But I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pass out a thermometer. It's not a real thermometer. It's a make-believe thermometer, but I want you to practice reading a thermometer. Okay. So you look at the scale on the side, and wherever the mercury stops is what the temperature is. So this would be how hot? 60, 60 degrees. How hot would this be? 20. 20 degrees. So what I want you to do, you and your partner are going to look at the details. Just like in reading, in science, we're going to look at all the details of the thermometer, even if it's not a real one. And I want you to practice reading the thermometer. And then I want you to look at the bulb. I want you to look at the scale. And I want you to look to see where the glass tube would go okay so partner sit with your partner you can go right over there thank you geneva okay. so with your partner i want you to practice reading the thermometer Yeah, I want to hear you. A good partners would be talking to each other. That, is that hot? Yes, that's really cold. What would you wear if it was zero degrees? What would you wear, Javier? Would you wear a, a shorts? 
No, what would you wear? If you were really cold, what would you wear? Would you wear a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt, a jacket? What would you wear? A jacket. A jacket. Do you remember the thing that you put around your neck? What is that called? Scarf. Scarf. Hanji. So really hot. So what would you wear if it was a really, really hot day? Probably shorts and shirt. 80. 80 is not too bad. 80 is um, just about what we're feeling right now. Not too hot and not too cold. Would that be a good day to go to the beach, Kaden? Do you think that would be a good day to go to a beach, like a day like today? 80 degrees? It's sunny outside. Would it be a good day? Do you think it would be a good idea? No? How come? Is it too hot for you? Why wouldn't you go to the beach? Because what? It's not hot enough for you? <laughs> How many degrees is that, Panapa? 10. Is that cold or hot, Marina? Fairly cold, freezing cold. What do you have? 60. 60 degrees. Is that hot or cold? Hot. 60 is cold. Yes, it's very cold. What do you have? 70. Uh, not too bad, 70. Not too bad. Yeah. You could still go to the beach when it's 70, but it's a little cold. It's, what would you wear on a cold day if it's a little cold? Go to the beach. You could, but what would you wear? Uh, hmm? A shirt, like a long sleeve shirt. What would you wear? <laughs> if you went to the beach. But it's a little cold if it's 70 degrees. Do you like when it's cold? Do you like cold weather? Yeah, me too. Ooh, how many dig? What is the temperature? 20. What does that mean, 20? It's really cold. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just a minute. Okay, let's stand up. What are we learning about today? Thermometer. Let's see if Miss Oshita can think of a, a song for you to stretch your body. Uh, Exercise. I'm a weather thermometer, nice and tall. Well, Show me tall. Just a minute, Papa. Pa. Exercise. Yeah, you, that's what we're doing. Are you exercising? Stretch well, your hands. Like oh, okay. Maybe later, Panapa. Okay, ready? One more time. I'm a weather thermometer, nice and tall. Tall, tall, tall. Show me tall. Here is my glass tube. Here is my bulb. When I get all steamed up, then I'll shout. It's 100 degrees, so don't go out. Because when it's 100 degrees, when it's 100 degrees, would you want to go outside? No, really. Oh. Okay, one more time. 1,000. Ready? I'm a weather thermometer, nice and tall. Here is my glass tube. Here is my bulb. When I get all steamed up, then I'll shout. It's 100 degrees, so don't go out. You may quietly sit down. Yes. So I'm going to give you another thermometer. I'm going to give you a different, another thermometer. So what I want you to do is we're going, you're going to just grab the basket. You're going to take this thermometer and you're going to take the make-believe mercury. So please make sure that you don't bend it. If not, it's not going to work. Okay. Yes. And what I'm, and what I'm going to do, Taylor, is I'm going to show you 
a temperature. So I'm going to show you a card. And you are going to show me on your thermometer what that looks like. Okay, so grab the basket. Take one thermometer and take one mercury. Can I turn the lights? No, we don't. <laughs> Good. James, you can turn the light on. Thank you for waiting nicely, Kaden. You're awesome, Kaden. Kaden, always paying attention. I know, always paying attention, always listening, always being nice to other people. No, not yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your mercury and you're going to put it in your thermometer, the thermometer I made. So as you can see, there is our make-believe glass tube, our make-believe glass tube. So I want you to put your, your mercury in there. You have to put it from the bottom. You see the red dot? You put it in from the bottom, okay? So eyes up here. So start putting it in, um, Marina. If you need help, I'm more than happy to help you. Thank you for waiting quietly, Jathan. Jathan, you're having an awesome day today. Eyes up here. Show me 50 degrees. Antoinette, 50 degrees. Fifty. So you're gonna stop right here. Just eleven hundred. It's super hot. Oh, I don't think it would never be eleven hundred. Fifty. So you're gonna stop right here. Fifty. A little bit more down. Fifty. Good job, Rika. Fifty. Fifty. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, how easy that is? Because That's right. Okay, the next one. 20 degrees. Cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold is right, Ty Taylor. Cold, cold, cold. Twenty degrees. A little bit more down. You have to stop right at that line. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Twenty? Is that twenty? You're gonna look at the one that says the uh, yeah, Fahrenheit. So come down here. Yes. Good job. Okay. Next one. Zero. Zero. This is freezing, freezing, freezing. Zero. Zero. You see the zero? You just move it down like this. And then you stop right there. Good job. Zero. Getting easier. Next one. 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Look on the side that says the F. F stands for Fahrenheit. 80. Keep on going, going, going. And stop. Yep, that's right there. Yeah, you don't have to show me. I can see 80 degrees. Okay, A, C, F. Down 80 degrees. Look at this side. Push it all the way up. 80. 80. 80. 70. And stop. Okay, next one. Okay, ready? Just a minute. 100 degrees. 100 degrees. Really hot. 100. If we had 1100 degrees, Panapa, we would die. It's, that's just way too hot. You can pass 
put it back in the basket and pass it down. Marina, you're really having a good day today. When we go to the science lab, Nas, um, not Nasalo, <laughs> um, Jathan, oh, yeah. we can do it then. I always call you your brother's name because your brother was in my class. <laughs> Nasalo? Yeah, Nasalo used to be in my class when he was in kindergarten. Just like Kate and I always call him Cyrus. <laughs> I didn't have Robert in my class. Yes, I had Bunny. Mm -hmm. No, Baba no, used to be in kindergarten. Yeah. Peter? Eyes, eyes, eyes on Peter? me. Eyes, eyes, eyes on me. So, eyes, we're going to talk about later on this week and next week, we're going to talk about other tools, other measurement tools. So, I want you to just quickly look at the tools. I'm not going to explain it in detail because we're going to be doing that in the next two weeks. But if you look it over here, this is called an anemometer. Can you say that? An anemometer is a tool to measure how fast the wind is moving. One more time, say it to the lights. Say it to your nose. Anemometer. Say it to your hand. Anemometer. So the anemometer is going to measure the speed of the wind to see how fast or slow. This is called a weather balloon. So what the weather balloon does, it goes above the Earth's surface. So here's Earth, Javier, and it goes above the Earth's surface and it records the weather. So it, it takes pictures. There's nobody in the weather balloon, but it takes pictures of the different kind of weather. This over here. The water stuff. Oh, how did you know? This is a water. This is to collect water. Here's our homemade one. Because I'm going to have you be a meteorologist, and you're going to be recording our weather at our weather station. Okay? So the person who collects or, or shares the weather with us is called a meteorologist. So the meteorologist is going to tell us how much rain. So we're going to talk to Mr. Jerry. This is how much rain was collected at my house the other day. So it says one inch of rain. But we're going to dump this out and we're going to find the place at Kaivai to see how much rain has how, ma how much rain has fallen? This is called a rain gauge. Can you say that? Rain, rain gauge. gauge. So this is a big rain gauge. This is to collect a lot of water over a long period of time. This is not, this is not big enough to collect it for a long time, but this one will. Okay. And then this is called a barometer. Can you say barometer? Barometer. And a barometer is a tool that measures air pressure. So a rising barometer means that it'll be sunny. It'll be a sunny day. No, just a sunny day. And a falling barometer means it's going to be rainy and stormy, the opposite. Okay. So the person who studies that, like I said, is the meteorologist. Yeah, <laughs> like Guy Hoggy. So if you go, um, if you watch TV, Guy Hoggy, like Taylor said, will tell us what kind of weather we have. So let's put that up here. And Guy Hoggy is what we call a scientist. A scientist. So let's label that over here. Oops. He's a scientist and he studies... He uses, he uses weather measurement tools to study the um, weather. So I'm going to put, put the word scientist up here. Okay. 
So eyes up here. I'm going to we are we're going to watch Guy Hagi for a little while, and he's going to show. I'm going to show you what happens on the news. So when you go home tonight and watch the news, that you might see Guy Hagi or another meteorologist sharing the weather. So it, why would we want to know what the weather is, right, Ka? Why would we want to know? Okay, so Raika said we would want to know because if there's going to be big waves, we need to make sure that our house is safe. And if we know that there's big waves, would it be a good idea to go to the beach that day? No, so it's really important to know what the weather is. If we have severe weather, Javier, Guy Hagi will let the civil defense know. And the civil defense is a group of people who try to um, find ways to communicate with all of us about the different weather. Okay, so this is called, this is a group of people. It's called civil defense. And if, let's say there's a hurricane, they're gonna let us know there's a hurricane. Please, um, let's see, take care of your house. Make sure you board up the um, windows. Make sure you put tape on the windows. And that's what the civil defense will help us to keep safe. What is that? What about the roof? Put, put tape on the roof. Put tape on the roof. I wish we could put tape on the roof. I used to live on the island of Kauai when there was a hurricane. And no matter what we did, we put tape on the windows. And that did help because the glass didn't fall in, fall in and cut us. But we couldn't do anything with the roof. The roof flew right off. Yeah. Yeah. But the civil defense... The meteorology and the civil defense, they let us know so that we could get prepared. Okay. Here are some pictures of the real tools that people use, Jathan, to measure the weather. So here is something that they use in space to measure the kind of weather that we have so then they can warn us. And same thing, here's the um, big rain gauge. And he, I think this is a military man. And he wants to land his plane, but he needs to make sure where he, the plane is landing or the helicopter, it's a good place. So he's trying to check the weather. He's trying to check the weather to see if it's a good idea or not. And we've been studying hurricanes. We did our science project on hurricanes. This is an airplane. He, they fly into the hurricane to find out what's going on, to let the people know. So there's different scientists at work telling us all about the weather. Yeah. Yeah. So eyes up here, we're going to look at our hear their chant on weather and measurement of weather. So my turn. Your turn. So you can stand up. And Panapa, let's make good choices. Okay. 
Okay, I know you're a smart boy. I know you can make good choices. Ready? Measuring weather here. Measuring weather here. Measuring weather there. Measuring weather there. Different types of measurement. Everywhere. Everywhere. Busy meteorologists. Busy meteorologists. Forecasting. Forecasting. Forecasting means they're they're predicting, they're making a good guess about the weather. Rising barometers. Rising barometers. Measuring. Measuring. Mercury thermometers. Remember this is the mercury. Mercury thermometers. Mercury. Heating, heating and rain gauges overflowing. And rain gauges overflowing. Measurement above. Show me above. Measure. Above the earth. Measurement on the rooftop. Measurement. <laughs> show me a hurricane. Measure. Measurement. In, here's your plane in the hurricane. And measurement at Kai Vai School. One more time. Measurement here. Measurement there. Different types of measurement. Everywhere. Measurement, measurement, measurement. Okay, you may quietly sit down. Those of you who are trying your best, thank you. If you make good choices and um, do your best, what happens? You will get smarter. So if you're playing and you're not participating, are you can is that doing your best? No, and who should be telling you? Me or your? Then Raika, come your own brain wasn't telling you then. And do your work, do your best, and make good choices. Okay, let's see. Today when we go to learning labs, I'm going to explain to you what you're going to be doing. So pay attention. And I bought these special pens. These special pens. So in the morning, I want you to record the weather. So these special pens. These special pens can actually work on glass. So I, I tape the picture on the back. So you can you can circle it in the front. Okay. And then if it's a sunny weather. Then you would draw a circle here. If it's stormy, you would draw one circle there. Just like our graph over here. Do we start at the bottom or the top? Bottom. The bottom. Same thing. We start at top at the bottom. Okay. So here are our labs. I like the way Vasa is looking. And I like the way. Jathan is sitting nicely. Can you show Javier how to sit nicely? Javier, can you turn your body around so you can see? Okay, at the iPad lab, here are the steps. I want you to read the directions. Number one, you're going to find the icon, find the YouTube icon, and you're going to be watching reading a thermometer video for children to learn, and then you're going to be singing a thermometer song. So I want you to look for the YouTube and look for these two. Can you choose something else? No, no just the thermometer one. Okay. Learning Log Lab. You're going to read the directions. Always read the directions. You see the arrow? You're going to read the directions. In complete sentences, I want you to answer the questions. I'm not going to read the questions to you. I know you can do it. If you can read the hard words here, I, you can read the hard words on that um, learning log lab. And then you can draw a thermometer. Don't forget, your, your words have to match your illustrations. Okay? So you can't write about a thermometer and draw Chuck E. Cheese on the side because does that match? No. 
the art lab, you're going to create a thermometer just like the one that I created for you. There's some tape over there. There's a straw and you have to cut it out. So same thing. Okay. And then it says um, insert the red pipe cleaner, which is our mercury, in the middle and practice reading the thermometer. When you're done, Reika, when you're done, you can complete the temperature worksheet. In the science lab, you're going to get the container of ice from the freezer, fill half the container with water, and then there's a little thermometer at your lab. Insert the thermometer, and I want you to observe what's happening to the thermometer. And then when you're done, you can complete the worksheet on recording the temperature of a thermometer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these directions at your lab. So please do not start until you read the directions. The directions are really important. Okay. And when we're at our labs, don't forget our three personal standards. And what are the three personal standards? One more time, what is this? Show respect. What would that look like if you're showing respect at a lab? Javier, if you're at your lab and let's say there's only one crayon box, what would you do to show respect? Hmm? Let's say there's only one box, what would you do? And you and Jathan need crayons, what would you do to show respect? Jathan, what would you do? Uh, There's only one box of crayons, but both of you need crayons. What would you do? Solve your problem. Yeah, how would you solve that problem? Kaden, can you help them? What would you do? Share. Share. Just share the crayons. Yeah. The showing respect. Be nice to people. If someone asks, can I borrow your red? Show respect. Let them borrow. The, Mom, borrow. Making good decision. What is a really good decision to make when you're at your labs? What is the do your work? Really important to do your work. Because if you're busy talking, will you be able to have fun and learn? No. And if you come across a problem, let's say, Taylor, you lost your paper, what would you do? Get another one. Get another one. Before you get another one, what should Look you do? For Look for it. Paper. Look for it. Yeah. If you don't have it, just get another one. Yeah, if you just can't find it, then get another one. Okay. Let's see who is ready for labs. Okay. <clears throat> Raika, Alicia, and Marie, iPad. Art Lab, Kaden, Taylor, and Antoinette. Thank you for walking nicely. Be careful over here. Javier, Viola, Geneva, Science Lab. James, Panapa, and Kailana, writing and Panapa. Panapa, can you do a good job like you did the other day? And and the Einsteins, yes, Einsteins. Okay, so um, Vasa, grab the paper. Okay, you folks know what to do. Can you just walk around? Yeah. Can you just walk around? Okay, get started. Yeah, get started. I'm sorry, I didn't put, give the directions. I'm going to put it right in the back. Here's the directions. Why would he be cheating? Okay. okay. So here's the water. Be careful. You're only going to fill it. What does it say? The directions say? Fill half, half. Not the, all the way to the top. Here. Be careful, open it up. Okay, here are your directions. So, yeah. 
So just open it. Anyone make a thermometer? So are you going to teach me today? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to come out. And here are your directions so you can get started. Let's get started. Here's the directions. Plus we need to cut it out. Let's see. There we go. You have your th headphones in? There we go. Can you just press that when you're done? Does it turn? No. Oh, here. Yep, that's all. Oh, good job. Ay, 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 ay. Sorry, that was my fault. Okay, just go to favorites. And here we go. I like how you're always paying attention, Marie. little bit more might want to pour a little bit more yes halfway through okay so we, when you put the thermometer in you see the mercury you see the bulb you're gonna put it in this way and see what happens yeah put it all the way in it's okay don't have to just oh it's getting stuck and see what happens to the mercury such a good student you always do your best and always making good choices and you and you're always nice to other people you too James what happened did anything happen you know why 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 is it that the mercury didn't go all the way up here because what is it hot or cold Cold. Cold, that's why it's all the way down there. Wow. Okay, so I, thank you for making good choices. While I was looking to see what everyone was doing, I'm, pr I'm proud of you folks, you knew what to do. So I sit up here. What is this called over here? What is this tool called? Close. It tells us the temperature, but what is the tool called? Basa? What is the tool called? What is this whole thing called? What is thermometer? So let's spell the word thermometer. Hands up. Let's sound it out. Er, mm, ah, mm, e, t, er. Oh, how many sounds is that? Nine. Nine? Can you check it again? Eight. How many sounds? Eight. So eight sounds. So let's write, eyes up here. Let's write the word thermometer. It sounds hard, but it's actually kind of easy. So what two limiters? Okay, you can stop drawing. Let's write the words first. Okay, so over here, what is this first word? A. A. Okay, a thermometer. So what two letters make the sound? TH. Wow. TH. So can you write TH? Er. What two letters make the er sound? ER. ER. Wow. You're good today. Er. Er, what sound do you hear next? Mm. There we go. Mm. you're gonna get a literacy award. Wow, good job today. Er, mm. ah, ah, right, ah. Mm. 
Mm, oh, you're a little bit ahead of us. Mm. Look, mom. Look at the word mom. Sir, mom. Eh. What? Eh. Good. What is the next sound you hear? Thur mame t er t. And what two letters make the er sound? E R. E R. Basa, right over here. I know you don't have enough room, but you can squeeze it in there. I don't have enough room. You can just write it right over here. You might have to make it a little closer because it's a long, long, long word. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Clean up. Show me you're ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Check and see, check and see. Who is putting their head down? Who is putting their head down? Let us see. Let's see. Einsteins, you can go back to your seats. We can continue. You can put it in your container. Jathan, put it in your container. And can you put your pencil, special pencil in there too? We can use it tomorrow. iPad lab, awesome. You folks may quietly get in your special place. I'm glad you want to finish your work. Okay, we can do that later. So can you just clean up and put it back? Put all your things back and we can finish later. Writing lab, you may quietly find, no, just find your special place. Yeah, leave it inside there because we need it tomorrow. Basa? Basa, you may get in line. And quietly, orange table, walk in line. You can just leave it there. We will take care of it later. Science lad, are you ready? You gotta clean up your area. We don't want piggy wiggy area. Clean up, put it away. Science lab, you may get in line as soon as you're done. That's okay, it was an accident. This is the way we shake our hands, shake our hands, shake our hands. This is the way we shake our hands to get ready for lunch. This is the way we roll our hands, roll our hands, roll our hands. This is the way we roll our hands to get ready for lunch. This is the way we put our hands in the back, put our hands in the back, put our hands in the back. This is the way we put our hands in the back to get ready for lunch. So show me you're ready for lunch. Yeah. Eyes up here. Let's see who's ready for lunch. I see Viola's ready. I see Marina's ready. Eyes on me. Javier, are you ready for lunch? Thank you, Raika. Javier, make good choices now. 